estimation. I'm getting... In this game, your powers of estimation will be put to the test, as well as your ability to guess. John, what have you got for us tonight? Sarah, for this challenge, I had to read Ross Kemp's 2011 novel, <laughs> Devil to Pay, from cover to cover. <laughs> the teams have to simply guess how much time I will never get back. <laughs> <laughs> to clarify, you need to guess how long it took John to read the hardback edition of Ross Kemp's novel, Devil to Pay. <laughs> John, will you read the synopsis so we all can hear what it's about? <laughs> <laughs> you, you asked for it. Uh, Nick Kane is a man with nothing to lose and everything to prove. Mm -hmm. Injured in a bomb blast on... Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Went to the doctor on a Wednesday. <laughs> Just kidding. Had an idea for a book on a Thursday. <laughs> in Iraq! <laughs> He's forced out of the army and into the quiet life. Things for Nick are looking up. That is until he finds out that his old army buddy, Ben Webster, is dead. Oh. And when he starts to question the circumstances of his friend's death, he discovers that there are people who will stop at nothing to cover up the terrifying truth. I want to read it now, though. It's probably quite good. Are you a big yeah. reader, Zoo? <laughs> no, nah, I'll be real. The only books I've read is Of Mice and Men, yeah. because of GCSE English, yeah. and Harry Potter, The Order of the Phoenix. Oh, don't get him started, man. I know, I know, I know. I can't remember none of it. Yeah. But I know that bare people were gassed off it when it came out. Like, it was a big release. <laughs> it was like a vinyl or something. I remember that. I was like, Mom, buy me that book. My mom was like, hey, <laughs> why do you need the book? <laughs> <laughs> Your man didn't obviously write it. He, he did actually write it. <laughs> he did actually write it. Why do you think he didn't write it? Because they don't... People like him don't write those books. Mm. Oh, no. I wrote a book. A cookery <laughs> book? Yeah. yeah. But I wrote it, though. Yeah, but yeah. is that not just, like, pictures? And no. <laughs> no. I wrote 50 yeah. word intros for each recipe. Tell her. So that's 120 times 50, which is a big number. Boom. I wrote 500 word bios for me, my mum and my friends. That's 1,500 words altogether. Then I did the back bit. On the front, I put no pressure, just food pleasure. Right, is that yeah. a point? <laughs> Must be. Oh, what did you say? What's the point? Is that a point? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Darren's team. I want you to make a guess now. <laughs> how long? Um, Rick, how long? you you probably read more books than than we do. Can you tell me how many I, pages? Yeah. Yes, please. Including the postscript, three hundred and sixty-seven. Oh, okay, that's not that much. I think you're doing a minute a page. So I reckon six hours. But towards the end, you must be dying. Like. Can we find out yeah, there? Maybe you're trying to pick up the pace, though. She's so <laughs> bored. <laughs> <laughs> Alan's team. What do you think? I would say probably around two and a half, three hours would be my wow. guess. Wow. What do you think, Joanne? Great. I disagree. Two minutes per page. I would say 12 hours. 12 uh, hours? Uh, I don't think John could do that for 12 hours. <laughs> I think he'd rattle through some of those paragraphs in the blink of an eye. OK. And I'm going to say four and a half hours. So you said four and Ooh. a half hours? <laughs> I'm going to take that as your answer. You guys, six hours? Yeah, yeah. we'll stick with six. Yeah. Great. OK, yeah. well, let's find out, shall we? The Albion Hotel isn't exactly what you would call a hotel. It's a B&B. <laughs> There's two of them, though one has the weirdly shaped FNP90 submachine gun. <laughs> Becky. God, she looks good. Smells good, too. Clean and fresh. How she manages it in the heat and dust of Kabul, I'll never know. The Taliban, who do you think, you daft fucker? I'd like to say I said something profound as we floored it out of there towards the onrushing sirens. But as I was blinking away the bits of windscreen that were blowing into my face, all I could come up with was, fuck. Hours, five minutes and 26 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Fair enough. John managed to read Ross Kent's Devil to Pay in a time of four hours, five minutes and 26 seconds. So that means that Alan's team was closest and you get the points. Yeah.